Libra. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's a Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 6th to the 12th of June 2022. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur and cross watches are welcome. Right. I came home yesterday and had a go at doing some of these and the first one took so many goes because the video has been playing up. So let us try today and see how we go. Libra. Overall the chariot could be dealing with cancer here. Boom. Things are moving, full steam ahead, balancing that chariot out, going with the flow, not getting the speed wobbles, making it some, or forcing, forcing it to move forward faster than it should. This energy is gaining momentum, but at a steady and manageable pace. Past energies, you had the Ace of Cups, the Magus, the Empress. Feel like there was love here in the past. You knew how someone felt about you. You know deep down how you felt about them and there was a bit of planning put into place creating the magic getting things off the ground here present energies you have the eight of swords the emperor eight of wands look at that for balance and in the core of your reading boom you have that emperor divine masculine energy very brave very confident very level-headed there's other ways around things if there is something or someone that is preventing you from moving forward but it may need that it may just mean that it needs some clear communication and a decision to be made with the full story and that diversion might not be needed if you have that full story future energies there's love Three of Cups, Two of Cups, Five of Wands. There is a bit of conflict, a bit of disagreements, but there is also love here and there is something to celebrate. I feel that there's a bit of drama from the outside coming in around this love that is here in your future energies. But overall, things are moving forward for you, regardless of that drama that's going on. So Libra, let's clarify everything here. Starting with the chariot overall for the week. Love that. Things are not as stagnant as they may seem. Yet the Wheel of Fortune, Seven of Swords, Three of Swords. There has been a third party situation here, some deceptive energy that has been um, causing a lot of heartbreak. But you're ready to railroad over top of that with this chariot and this Wheel of Fortune. You know that there's bigger and better out there for you and you're able to walk away from that kind of energy in order to focus on what does lie ahead for you. Good luck, good fortune, hopefully for all of you. Love that. Past energies, your Ace of Cups, Three of Cups, Queen of Swords, Eight of Wands. Comes back again to that communication. There is something to celebrate. Um, maybe taking a different approach towards this new chapter when it comes to love. A different approach, more direct, more upfront, and having everyone on that same page. And you're putting yourself out there in the past for this new chapter. Well, we're going to take those two because they flipped up the right way. The Magus. You do have the Devil. Two of Swords, Nine of Swords. Yeah, there is something here that is trying to prevent you from moving forward with this new love. There's a bit of confusion, a bit of negative energy, toxic, unhealthy relationship here. This Magus manifesting a way to release the stress, the sleepless nights, the overthinking of things and being able to make a clear decision. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but there is something or someone trying to prevent this new love chapter getting off the ground. Still maybe an existing relationship, maybe somebody extremely brand new, but I feel there is outside interference here. So the Empress, 
Look at that, the Sun, Six of Swords, the High Priestess. Yeah, it does leave you with your guard up a bit. You're not wanting to be too overwhelmed by everything, but you are ready to move forward. You're just not ready to let everybody know your plans and what's happening. Again, you know how you feel. You know how someone else feels. There's a lot of happiness here, a lot of joy, and um, it is this outside meddling that seems to be causing a bit of a spanner in the works. Present energies, Eight of Swords, so it kind of puts you in this stalemate situation of feeling like you're not able to move forward freely. Four of Wands, the Lovers, the Fool, wow, but somebody is ready to take this leap of faith. Whether this is you, whether this is them, somebody significant, Soulmate Twin Flame, could be dealing with a Gemini, there's stability here, but most of all with that lovers, there is commitment here. Again, it could be an existing relationship. It may be somebody extremely brand new, but this detour may be put in front of you for a reason and you're ready to take that chance and go for it. But it may be with the two of you. So we come to the emperor in the core of your reading, Libra. You have the Four of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. There's something or someone you're feeling like you're not able to release. Even though you're in control of the situation, it's still taking a lot of hard work to be proud of the achievements and how far you have come and to release some sort of energy that seems to be bound to. Could be a legal contract you're tied up in. Doesn't have to be. Could be that devil energy that we had back there in the past. Um, maybe niggling away still right there. But that emperor can take control of that situation. Eight of Wands. You have the Tower, Ten of Wands, Seven of Cups. There's been a long, hard, drawn out journey here. Big burden, carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders, but coming to a completion, releasing that cycle in order to start building something new from the ground up and very solidly. But to build something new, that communication needs to be out in the open. There's a lot of options and opportunities to look at, and sometimes they aren't so obviously so in front of you there. It does take a bit of dig deeping, dig deeping, digging deep. Sometimes my mouth gets carried away before my <laughs> brain gets into gear <laughs> or the other way around. Some deep digging to be done to look at those options. And with that we'll continue. Libra to future energies, three of cups. <laughs> it's like blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Queen of Cups, Judgment, Princess of Pentacles. A lot of emotional energy down here in your future energies line, but there is still this offer being put on the table, whether that's around love, around work, around home. But keep an open mind to this offer. What does it have to offer you? And also don't judge others, don't let others judge you. But I feel this is more around keeping an open mind of what somebody is presenting to you here. Being proud of how far you've come emotionally, there is something to celebrate here. Judgment comes into, um, into the role here. Pretty big time. That open-mindedness. This offer could be this Two of Cups. Ace of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. And look at it for balance. A very balanced partnership with a new beginning, a fresh new start here. Something new to focus on, claiming some independence, but at the same time, there is two of you on this journey, on this brand new journey. Clearing the crap out from the past in order to have that fresh new start, that success is incoming, and that chariot overall, it may be incoming very quickly. So you finish with the Five of Wands, Libra. There's that Two of Cups again. Two of Pentacles, all about the balance, and the Ace of Pentacles, all about the new beginning. Getting control of the situation, a bit of drama because you may be pulled in different directions, but this love seems to be pretty solid here for this brand new beginning. No drama is going to interfere here. No disagreements and arguments are going to interfere. Getting that balance and alignment back into place and on this journey together. Balancing that chariot out to get things moving ahead. 
So Libra, let's see what the universe has to say. Get the Six of Swords, Justice, and the Three of Wands. Your own energy there with Justice, all about the balance again. But there is movement forward, as we said. You're not wanting everyone to know about your plans. This balance and alignment may be within, but you have got this wake-up moment, this clarity, the light bulb in your head moment. And I feel it's towards this love down here, keeping an open mind, because you do see something in quite a different light than what you initially had seen someone, I am going to say that. So Libra, we finish with Moontology. We do finish with Moontology. And I'll just take one. <laughs> that way. And you get the new moon in Libra. A new romantic cycle begins. Leo's video cut off at the end and they got this and they had a lot of love in their reading. Your future energies, that love is there. That love is in that line as well as that new romantic cycle that is beginning. Again, maybe existing, maybe brand new, but yep, yeah, it's moving forward. So that's what I have. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.